Uh, Derek, nice to see you. Um, what have you taken away from the, the start to the season that you've had? Yeah, we're obviously delighted with the start we've had because we've got uh, you know, a really good win at home uh, against Walsall, which was important. It's always important to get the first win of the season. Then we went away to Rotherham and had a, a very good match against them in the League Cup. We drew with them. They eventually won on penalty kicks. And then on Saturday, we found it a wee bit more difficult. We knew that because Mansfield are a, a really good side in this division and uh, they were better at us in the day. What do you have to improve then from the, from the weekend going forward? Well, there's areas that we always have to improve on, um, and that'll be right throughout the, the season. Um, you know, we come up against an accomplished side in Mansfield, uh, and um, on Saturday against Notts County, we've come up against a team that uh, will are coming from uh, the National League into League Two, and uh, they've got you know a number of talented players. But so have we, and uh, we've shown that uh, in the games already this season. Is there an allowance, an expectation perhaps for a period of adaptation for these players because it's almost a new team, isn't it, Derek? Well, it's a completely new team. We've only got six players from you know last mm. season still here. And uh, if you look at it in another way, um, there's only three of them that really you know start game on game. So it is a new squad uh, for this season. And um, it takes everyone time to blend. But I think they've done that really well to start with. How pleased have you been with the, the young players and how they've interpreted what you're asking them to do? Yeah, I mean, it's great for a young player to come in and you know come into this environment because um, coming from a Premier League club or Championship club or another League One club, uh, you know, everyone's different. Everyone coaches in a different way, talks in a different way uh, and the environments are totally different as well. So... Um, it's great for them to see a, a different perspective and that's why they've come here on loan, either to get you know, first team football to improve uh, week on week and uh, you know, that's what we try to do for them. And, and we've shown in the past that, that you know, the players that we've had here on loan you know, have been very successful. Yeah, what you've touched on there, JJ McKeon has, has, has told us today that he really enjoys your input and how mm. you're helping him. Is there a buzz in the dressing room because of that? Um, coaching that's that's happening for them? We try and give them information and uh, not all the time you take it on as a player. Uh, we get that because, you know, when you're young, it sometimes goes over your head or um, you probably think, oh, not this again or that again. All we're trying to do is just to, to try and improve them. And it might not be that they improve right away, but over time, over the years, they look back on it. I still look back on my time as a 16-year-old when I was playing at Aberdeen in the reserve team with senior players, international players, and the things that I learnt there, you know, I try and pass on to my players now, uh, and that's, you know, 31 years, you know, ago. I know that's a, a part of the job you really enjoyed, Derek. Um, have you had to change your system and tactics to adapt to the new players, or do they need to adapt to yours, if that makes sense? With, 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 with players like Stockton not being involved and not you know, having to change. So how does that dynamic work? Yeah, I mean, I've got a problem at times and, you know, it's probably my problem as the manager is that, um, you know, I see issues that can come about in a game before the game starts and I want to stop that happening. Uh, or I see in the opposition there's weaknesses. So uh, at times I will tinker with the formation to, to do that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. On Saturday, we changed the, the system because we knew the strengths that uh, Mansfield had and uh, we knew where we were weak and we had to, to change it. And uh, when we did change it into the second half to the system that probably we might have started the game, we could see the problem we are going to have, so we had to switch back again. So it's just, you know, different systems uh, against different teams. Would I like to play the same way all the time? Yes, I would. But you have to have the personnel that's available for you to be exceptional in this division, in their position week on week. You've got to be quick, you've got to be strong, you've got to be good in the ball, you've got to read situations well, you've got to pass with an accuracy, you've got to score goals, cross balls. But I'm talking, you know, probably uh, of teams that, uh, you know, of a higher calibre than we are. But what we're trying to do is to coach these players mm. into becoming that p type of player. Yeah, Um do you want more additions or is there a case where 
you might have too many cooks spoiling the broth, so to speak. No, we've got 20 players at this moment in time. We look to add two more, uh, so two more uh, to come in, uh, defensive uh, and, you know, a striker as well. Is that the loan market that you're looking at? Or? It's both. You know, the right. loan market, fine, yeah, I, I would do it. We've got space for that. Uh, we can take another two and to add to five, but um, it doesn't have to just be the loan market. OK. Um, are you uh, confident, optimistic about the future of the football club with everything that's happened in the, the last year off, off the field? Is there enough communication for you from the top down? or how, how do you feel about everything at the moment? Yeah, I mean, the owner has uh, been in contact with me before the first game of the season. And, um, you know, I think that um, he obviously wants something to happen sooner rather than later, you know, for his uh, good as well as uh, the club's good. So uh, in the background, he's working away uh, on a solution uh, for the football club to be sold. Uh, until that happens, then, you know, we work as we are. Are you eager for that to happen or do you not think about it that much? Um, that can be difficult at times because, you know, if a new owner comes in, then they might have um, a lot more money uh, to give us. Uh, and, and that's what happens at football clubs nowadays. It's, it's, it's not generated through season tickets. It's not generated through commercial. It, it, it needs to be donated or put in as shares uh, by uh, a wealthy owner because you can see with the, the rest of the f clubs that are doing it, um, then it enables them to, to get in. Uh, extra players mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know you then go into a different market that's a possibility or that somebody comes in and uh, does exactly what the owner here has been doing you know for years is is working to a sustainable uh, budget that can uh, keep the club alive yeah all that obviously to come in the future and we hope it's resolved soon uh, your focus is on Notts County. What, what, what do you expect from them? A, a, a strange old start. They they lost 5-1 at yeah. Sutton. And then they beat Grimsby at the weekend with your old player, Dan Crowley, getting there. He got the winning goal, I think, didn't he? He did, yeah. I mean, I think that you know they are a team that play in different styles and different systems uh, during the season. They've already done that at the start of this season. They're obviously trying to get the right blend uh, with the players that they've taken in. They've taken in you know a good calibre of player uh, over... Uh, the summer you'll have to look at McGoldrick coming in from, from Derby to suggest that is true and um, you know we're looking forward to, to playing against them, we're at home we've got a very good home record uh, and we need to obviously improve our away record. Yeah, uh, just finally Derek, uh, injury situation uh, Charlie Brown missed. Yeah, he's fit now, he blocked a, a cross in the Rotherham game that twisted his ankle so that's the reason that he missed out but uh, everyone is fit going into this game.